right, so at the end of turn one, Yatu Mudon, I, I don't know what his name is. Uh, it's a weird name. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got Magician's Rogue, which is really good. All right, so it uh, looks like we have Dark Magician, Magician's Rogue, Magician's Rod, Magician of Dark Illusion, Eye of Timaeus, and Secret Sanctuary of the Spellcasters. This is a really good hand. How do I make that go away? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to make that go away. What did I do? I pressed the button. I, bro, it's just up there. All right, so I guess, um. I sort of have no choice for right now. I kind of have to go with the Magician's Rod. I know... I know for a fact that he's going to Ash Blossom it. So I won't get the effect of the Magician's Rod. But on the off chance that I do... And it looks like... Survey says... He does not Ash Blossom it, which is actually huge for me. So what I'm going to do... Such a tough call. I mean, I've got no choice but to chance it. Got no choice but to chance it. Dark Magical Circle and... See if we get something great. If it was meant to be, it's meant to be. It looks like it was not meant to be. Alright, so uh, back on my turn. Let's go ahead and throw down the Magician's left hand. wasted a max C I guess I don't know why he did that that was sort of like a bot move because you know he's not real all right and then I'll I guess I'll go magician's robe man magician's robe can't attack so that's it that's that's all I do for my turn Oh, looks like he just powered up. I get to do a quick effect, though. I get to bring out Dark Magician. Select the cards to discard. Um, I think I'll, I'll discard the, the Eye of Timaeus. And then I'll bring out Dark Magician. And I'll use Dark Magical Circle on the thing that can actually kill the Dark Magician. I'll just take that 2500 from him. Activate Magician's Rod. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So I guess what we'll do is we'll get rid of the Magician's Robe so he can't actually harm my life points any further. And it looks like we get to activate Magician of Dark Illusion at the same time as well. So that is really fortunate. So here comes Magician of Dark Illusion. Uh, he's got 2,500 on the defense. So we're going to go ahead and throw him in defense mode right there because we don't want him to get destroyed by Yatim Yatimidon. And we've got Magician's Rod in the hand now. So, I mean, he can attack my Dark Magician. And he chose instead to attack the Magician of Dark Illusion, which did no damage to either of us. He puts a card face down. And he brings out Salomon Great, whatever the hell this is. Looks like he's going to destroy one monster on the field. Or no? Yeah, yeah, he destroys my Dark Magician on the on the field. That is... That is fantastic. Well, what's about to, to be super fantastic, or not fantastic for him, is my next turn. <laughs> because... It's about to go down. 
Let me tell you. Let me turn this thing down to make sure it's not being super loud and put this up a little bit. All right, what card did we get? We get an Eternal Soul. Well, that is... That's actually really great. So I think I'll uh, go ahead and throw down. No, we'll keep the Eternal Soul in the pocket. This is what we do. We throw down the Magician's Rod so we have another Spellcaster out there. Am I right? We activate the Magician's Rod and we are going to go with Magician's Salvation. That's what we're going to go with. Magician's Salvation. Actually, I probably should have went for that Trap card. But whatever. Potato, potato. I'm going to set a card and that's going to be the Eternal Soul. We'll put that right there, so that means I can always get Dark Magician back to the hand or back to the field. Um, activate the effect of Magician of Dark Illusion. So I guess he has a secondary effect where I can summon the Dark Magician to the field. The one that's in the graveyard. So this is great. I'm going to put him in face-up position right here, and that's going to allow me to get rid of one of his monsters. Now, our, our one of his cards, I just, I'm not sure which one that we should get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at each of his cards and see which one is potentially the most dangerous. He's got this field spell during damage calculation. If a player would take damage, you can make neither player take damage from that battle. And if you do, you send one level. So that's pretty, that's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. You can choose to take no damage. Uh, then what's this? If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you do not control a biosic. You can target one and take much control with the card to it, but banish it from the field. Uh, you can only use this. What? Turn, what? What? You, what? Okay, I, I have no idea. What's this? Okay, no. And then this one. Quick effect and tribute this card, then target one monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this turn. When a normal summoned monster you control is destroyed by battle, this card is sent to your graveyard. You can special summon this card. Okay. Uh, and then while this card points to a monster, your opponent monsters cannot target this card for attacks. If a monster this card points to its destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special... Okay, so it looks like this one's probably going to be the most problematic so i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the shinobi insect uh second to that would probably be this giant ballpark because that's pretty freaking dangerous him having that out there like that so i'm going to go ahead and put out the secret sanctuary of spellcasters nice continuous spell right there um and he's yeah yeah that's that's going to be a rapsky for him now we've got a dark no more dark magician right we got dark magician here we got Dark Magician there. They're asking me if I want to go to the extra deck and transform one of these. So I think what I do in this situation, I think I can get I can get away with this. I can take my Dark Magician because this is a spellcaster. I don't want to I don't want to mess up my secret sanctuary of spellcasters. So. Uh, I have to keep one spellcaster on the field so that doesn't go away. Now this guy can't use trap cards, at least he can't use one trap card. So now we go ahead and activate the effect of the Ebon Illusion Magician and this is going to be great. I get to special summon a uh, Dark Magician back to the field and Ebon Illusion Magician is going to work in conjunction with that Dark Magician. Unless he has an Ash Blossom? No he doesn't. Alright so let's bring out the Dark Magician from the deck instead of the one from the hand. So now we have a bunch of Dark Magicians. All three of my Dark Magicians are in play. Now we go to attack, and this is where the, the fun happens. The magic happens. So I get to do a normal attack with Dark Magician, and he gave up. Wow. <laughs> that is something you don't see every day. Giving up against the Dark Magician magician deck i don't know maybe i was taking too much time for him but whatever the case may be this asian player decided enough is enough he threw in the towel well ggs